Hey guys, this is Alicia from LBCC Historical. Today I'm going to show you how to use the historical makeup products for an everyday look. So if you like a really natural makeup look without a lot of makeup, this would be something for you to consider. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 1772 lip balm and cheek balm and we're going to use it as blush. Now, like I think I've shown you this before, um, mine is well used. I'm just going to dip my finger in. Now remember, you can keep this in the car if you want to for touch-ups. So we're just going to put it on the, the dimples or apples. My dimple right there isn't actually a dimple. It's actually a scar from falling into a fireplace when I was little. Yeah. But it looks like a dimple, so good enough. And this will probably get a little darker um, as you put on the rest of your makeup. I like to push it up. You don't have high cheekbones and you want to actually get that look. Let me show you how to do it. Basically what you're going to do with any type of blush is you're going to find your line right here. You can actually, if you suck in, so you can see it right there. And then you want to take your blush and you just want to rub up on that line and you want to rub up. That gives you that shadow that you're looking for um, for your cheekbones. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the Turkish Rouge, which is brand new, and you're going to take a, you can, you can either use your finger if you want, or you're going to take a makeup brush. Um, here's mine. I've used it quite a bit already. But basically, you're going to just uh, work with your lips. Okay. You're going to take your Turkish Rouge, you're going to put it on. Now, if you feel like you want more rouge up here, you can do that and you can put your Turkish Rouge on like this and you can blend it in. You know, it's very natural. It looks like I'm a little pink, um, a little blushy. It's good. I haven't, before I started this, I didn't have any makeup on my face. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your pencil. So I have a mirror. I have to use a mirror. I can't. I can't do it backwards. I tried. I failed. Working with your eyebrows and th this, I, I'm gonna actually have historical like eyebrow liner and stuff in the shop. I just haven't gotten that for yet. We have some eyebrows. Um, I always have problems with my eyebrows because they're they're just a different shape. And I, you know, you try and like color them in so they're the same shape. And as you can see, we have some really nice tint going on. We have a little bit of um, tint on our cheeks. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some eye makeup. For eye makeup, I'm not a huge fan of the powder because I feel like uh, the powder tends to come off really easy. So I tend to use um, more of a creamy, creamy base. Today, I'm actually getting ready to go to the market um, and sell our awesome historical products. Um, so I'm wearing orange, which is a great color. And I thought I would put on some gold. If you want a little bit of shadow, you can use the white face paint if you have some. This is just how I would use the historical products to make everyday kind of awesome look. I have a little bit of white on my finger and what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm applying it to the upper brow ridge here and I'm going to apply down. Okay, just like that. So you can see how that one kind of pops a little bit more. And you wouldn't need a lot to do this at all. Let's get the mascara on and then you'll see you'll see the difference. For the everyday look, I like to use um, Colossal Lash or something that, that, that really makes my lashes look full without having to wear false eyelashes. I'm going to add my eye corners. But basically by adding that little corner in the corner of your eye, adding that little thing um, and coloring it up a little bit, it makes it look like you have really long eyelashes. As you can see, it looks like I have really long eyelashes. I do have a spot right there, and so sometimes I actually like will color it in. Um, it's like the whole Marilyn Monroe thing, but other times I just leave it. Um, I don't wear cover up a lot. I'm pretty like freckly through here as I'm getting older, but you know, I really like this. It, it's 
beautiful. So you have to forget my hair. I haven't really done much with it today. This is pretty much like every day without really doing much, just putting a clip in. As far as the makeup that we used today, we used the, the Salad Turkish Rouge, which is going to be a different color than the Liquid Turkish Rouge that we have coming up. The Liquid Turkish Rouge is actually a red red. This one again varies um, depending on your skin tone and but with me it looks like this now when I get into darker rooms it gets darker. The other thing that we used on our cheeks was the rose lip balm and you can use this on your lips too. I don't have the sticker on this but this is my container for the white uh, face paint and we use those kind of on the uppers here and the reason I like using that is because it will last all day, so you don't have to worry about reapplying, which I really like, um, especially if I'm on the go. Other things we used that weren't historical is we used our eyeliner pencil and our mascara, our eyeshadows, which again, were not powder, just personal preference. If you want to kind of do the historical thing for a modern world, the last thing that, that you want to do is you want to add some cologne or perfume. Um, historically, it could have been called cologne and it was meant for both sexes, uh, both male and female. So it's not like if I say cologne, I'm wearing a guy's scent. You know, that's not how it goes. This is our 1772 perfume. And, um, you know, I think that that's really awesome. You're going to go with this historical makeup and historical perfume, but it's in a modern world. So here's what it looks like in um, kind of a darker lighting. You know, it's really pretty. Um, and I love the fact that you can use historical products, historical makeup products, for a really chic, everyday, kind of romantic um, look. I hope you've enjoyed our little tutorial today. Check out my channel, LBCC Historical, on YouTube. We just uh, tried our hand at making a small commercial. Check that out. It's very short. So definitely subscribe because we're always posting new exciting things and you never know what's going to happen.